Today I want to show you how to do screen recording and voiceover work in Wondershare Filmora 10 and it's super duper easy. <laughs> So if you're a video gamer and you want to put your video games up online and stuff, you need um, a PC screen recording device. And the best way to do that is with Wondershare Filmora 10. They have it built right into their system. You can click on the record PC screen button and you minimize Wondershare Filmora. And then you go click on whatever game you want to play and it's recording it records the whole screen so anyways let's get into the software and i'll show you how to do that it's really simple and it's absolutely amazing okay so you see we're in the software here so what you want to do is go up to record click on record pc screen i won't do that now because obviously i already have what you do here is when before you record this is your record button that you'll hit but you want to make sure your microphone's hooked up if you're using that I'm using headphones right now and then this right here will show you the size that you're going to be recording it in so 1920 by 1080 P is what I'm recording and it's the full screen so if you were gonna go and record yourself playing some video games what you want to do is just minimize this go to i i really only play counter strike because i don't really play much else so then you go in here and it's recording all of this but i'll just show you a quick little uh so another option you have here is to do voiceover you can speed up your game and talk over it whatever you want to talk about here and then when you come up to like an interesting point in the game you can just slow it down or stop it and just uh Boom, headshot, look at that. Okie dokie, so I'm back in here now. So after you hit F9, you see that this pops up and this is everything that you recorded from before. So this is all the stuff that I was yammering about and then this was getting into the counter strike. So when you get into this, it's just like any editing sort of stuff, right? So then it's recording that and that's basically how you screen record that's that's as simple as it can be you'll we can hear it here it picks up the sound of your game playing so as you're running whatever it it records all the sound it's incredible that way so the other thing that you can do is voiceover so if you're shooting, let's say you're doing a documentary or anything like that where you need to do voiceover in or you want to just talk over your video game footage like this, if you weren't talking during gameplay and you wanted to talk over that, what you would do is come down to record voiceover and it'll ask you what microphone to use, everything like that. It's really simple and then you literally record your voice over that it'll show up i just want to show you something here so audio detach audio control alt d make sure you're using your sh keyboard shortcuts it's really easy so when you do the voice recording it'll show up on the bottom just like this so then if if you're recording recording it but you're over here and the recordings here you can just move your audio to wherever you want wherever it's best for you to have i mean if you're watching along in the game and you're yammering on about it then it'll follow this um this marker right here but anyways that's the the quick and easy way of how to do screen recording if you want to do tutorials and stuff like i do then i use the uh, record PC screen and it makes it very simple so I just want to do a quick little rundown on transitions in Wondershare Filmora 10 now there is going to be a huge difference depending on what you're doing for editing so if you're doing like gaming or tutorial editing or you're doing let's say narrative filmmaking or documentary filmmaking there are two totally different things like all of those are completely different so when i'm doing a tutorial like this then i like to use different transitions and it just shows that you're going from 
one point that you just made about the tutorial to the next point that you made about the tutorial. So I like to use a transition like this. It's just something simple and easy, but it shows that you're going to a different point. And I go to the transition button. And the amazing thing with Wondershare Filmora 10 is they have a plethora of transitions that you can choose from. And there's 233 included. I went to Filmstock and bought a bunch of different ones as well. If you don't have the money to do that, don't worry. They, there's 233 that you can use. There's more than enough. I just like the Filmora Legacy Pack. I thought it'd be a really good idea to get this when I'm doing Filmora tutorials. And it's so simple to use. You literally just drag and drop and that is now on there. If you want, you can stretch it out and make it as long as you want in between the scenes. I don't really want it to be that long. It slows it down quite a bit. I'll actually, I'll show you here. So this is it playing at full speed here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And uh, well, see, it's just slow. It doesn't have the same flow. I, d I don't like it slowed down that much. I use the speed that it comes with with Wondershare. And another thing, so if you wanted to go, if you were doing gaming and you just got a really sweet headshot and you wanted to go to another one, you can just dissolve or you can grab your Filmora Legacy Pack. Bam, and then you're into the next scene. It's really quite simple. And like I said, there's so many that you can choose from in here. It depends what you want to go for and, and the look that you're going for in these. Now, I did mention about doing narrative film or documentary. You don't use a lot of transitions in either one of those videos. You just, you don't, you don't need them. You, it, it just it kind of takes away from those types of videos if you watch your favorite movies or documentaries they don't use a lot of fancy transitions now i did use a dissolve transition and a fade transition in this one scene i'll show you and what dissolve and fade are is they're they're essentially the same thing so basically they just show a passing of time fade shows a larger passing of time so if you wanted to fade from one day to the next you would use your fade dissolve is generally you use it to um to kind of blend one scene into the next or one shot into the next in the same scene so what i have here is one scene coming that's coming up in a in a geocache video that i'm doing i use the dissolve to does to well you'll see it here i use it as kind of for a comedic effect but let's uh let's take a look at it and see what you think Oh, the year that. I have to get the year that the governor of Vancouver Island also became the governor of British Columbia. Guffy, guffles, guff, guffy, guffles. Governor, governor, governor. Where would that be? If I were a plaque, Governor Plaque, Plaque Governor, Governor Plackington. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So basically, that was it. So I used it as a comedic effect to show that I haven't really done a whole lot, but a lot of time has passed, and I'm just like working on this one thing if two scenes look kind of similar you want to dissolve them together now there is a way that you can go completely overboard with dissolves go watch the movie apocalypse now basically the first hour of that movie is just dissolving scenes into scenes into scenes and it's a little bit insane but uh i don't know it seemed to work out it was a great movie so that's just a quick little rundown of the transitions wondershare has a plethora of them that you can use if you want more you can go to film stock and buy more like i did you got and 
that's that's basically it wondershare filmora 10 is pretty amazing for their software i have to say it's been a blast using it check out my link for a free trial copy of filmora 10 wondershare filmora 10 don't forget to like subscribe and all that jazz and uh well i'll see you later